we have Melissa Delena from Delena Law Office. And Melissa, you have an awesome topic that uh, there's a lot of uncertainty around, a lot of unknowns and things that kind of crop up on potential home buyers. We're going to be talking about addressing the cost for closing, fixed costs, variable costs, and title insurance. So let's talk a little bit about closing costs. Yeah. Closing costs are something that really are kind of an enigma, right? I mean, I talk about this with friends and family, and they know what I do, and they still don't understand because very often you'll be seeing billboards or advertisements about lenders who are offering no closing costs. And I think it's fortuitous that Matt's in the, the house with us here because he can kind of build in uh, or talk to us about how a lot of times those fees are built into the rates. Yeah, uh, it's amazing how, how you know, there's so many guidelines and rules about predatory lending and like, you know, false at marketing. And then mm -hmm. you hear things like this. And, you know, for me, it's just like, no, there's definitely closing costs. Like, right. Right. don't that be naive. Not free. Don't not be naive. Free. Yeah, right. I'll do a no cost loan too at at a, a half a point higher than what I would want to give you the rate at. And it's important for people to know that that's how that works. Right. You know, it's baked into the rate. And if you look at the interest that you'd pay over the course of the loan to do a no cost loan, you will be paying way more in interest than you will if you just pay closing costs. Right. Gotcha. And when you amortize that over 30 years, compounded by interest, like Matt said, it's kind of a no-brainer. I understand that there's lots of occasions where folks are wanting to be as competitive from pricing as they can, but you're better off paying fair closing costs and getting a competitive interest rate so that you're not going to be paying more long-term for the loan. Right. And Matt, I think it's really important for consumers to be aware that if you are going to be shopping for mortgage, you're doing it at the time of the pre-approval process. You really can't wait until you're under contract for a property to then start shopping for your mortgage because at that point, this is a breakneck pace, right? We have to get through the transaction and we usually have 30 to 45 days max. So for you to start searching for which lender is going to offer you the most competitive rate and closing cost package, you've kind of missed the boat. So you really need to be doing that. And as Matt said, just because it's not being advertised doesn't mean you can't inquire about whether or not there are no closing cost rates available mm -hmm. for that particular lender. So certainly from a title cost perspective, a borrower is going to be responsible for a title search. This is something that the lender is going to require. Mm -hmm. And as a consumer, you want to make certain that you're taking clear title to the property. So the cost for the title search is usually a fixed cost. Um, as far as the cost of the recording fees to the community that you're purchasing, because that's what makes the transaction official, usually a fixed cost. You also, of course, have title insurance. Mm -hmm. Now, title insurance is a state mandate. So everybody is paying the same rates. That really should not vary regardless of which title underwriters you're working with, title companies or attorneys. Nice. And yeah. um, so is that pretty much the brunt of it for closing costs or some other ones? There's certainly also the establishment of um, escrows, you yep. know, prepaying your homeowner's insurance, right, Absolutely. John? You want those checks? Yep. We need to get the property um, insured. So that's a variable cost depending on a lot of factors, as I'm sure you can speak oh, to. Absolutely. As we've done many times on yep. the show. But yeah, a hundred different things could it impact the rate of your homeowner's insurance. Right. Uh, so, taxes have to be another one too, absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yep. So real estate taxes, generally we know what the real estate tax amounts are. That's typically advertised in MLS. It's also available through the city or your attorney. Mm -hmm. um, all of those, you know, you can have that information early up front, shopping for the insurance up front, talking to your attorney about the taxes and really understanding it. And then of course you do have the lender fees. So you are going to pay for an appraisal fee and those are usually fairly fixed.